Hi, in this video we are going to do an example of writing without absolute values. So we have the absolute value of x plus 2 and we're going to write without absolute values. Those are the directions. This is from uh, one of my books, Calculus Alpha. So getting rid of absolute values is very, very important, uh, especially when you're studying calculus. So to do that, you want to know the definition of absolute values. So I'm going to write it over here. So the absolute value of x can be defined as a piecewise function, okay? So it's defined in pieces, and it's going to be equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's going to be equal to minus x if x is less than 0. Okay, so that is the definition of absolute value. This is extremely important to know, especially if you're going to be studying calculus. So in this particular example, we have x plus 2. So this is equal to a piecewise function. And instead of x, we have x plus 2. So it's going to be x plus 2 if x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. See, all we've done here is we've replaced the x with x plus 2. That's all we've done in this particular example. Let me fix my microphone here so you can hear me OK. All right, and then it's going to be negative x, but in this case, it'll be negative x plus 2. So minus parentheses x plus 2. And that's going to be if x plus 2 is less than 0. OK, so we're almost done. We're almost done. We just The only thing we have to do now maybe is distribute. There's a, there's a minus 1 here. We're going to distribute that. And also, we can, we can rewrite this. So I'm going to come down here and finish it. So this is going to be equal to a piecewise function. So it'll be x plus 2 if, and then we can subtract 2 here from both sides, right? So it'll be x greater than or equal to negative 2, just like that. And then here it'll be minus x minus 2, because there's really a minus 1 here. So minus x minus 2, and that's going to be if, subtract the 2, x less than negative 2. So this would be the answer, my friends. And that's it. That's how you do it. And let's check the work. I have the answers here. I mean, I'm sure it's correct, but it's nice to have the answers so you can, you can check your work. And it is correct. I hope it's been helpful. Stay strong, my friends.